Okay, so now let's go and get some images. The easiest way to get some images is go to Kaggle. And the image set that I want to use is called X-Ray. And I'm just typing in like so. And choose the right one. So this first one that pops up, you click on that link. And that takes you right to the website that has this data. So there's a lot of data. Uh, if you notice, there's two categories. There's a binary, um, binary used for binary image classification. There's 5,863 images, so it's rather large. So what you can do is uh, you can look at the structure here. And notice there's an X-ray folder. There's test images, normal, pneumonia. There's a training folder for normal and pneumonia, and there's also one for valid, uh, val validation. So the easiest way to get this data is simply to click here, download. And you can see it start downloading here. It might prompt you to sign in first to Kaggle to get the data. I use my Google account to, to log in. But notice there's 2.3 gigabytes worth of data. So this is going to take a while. So I'm going to pause the video and uh, continue when I'm done. So now we got the data downloaded. Now we got our zip file. So the next step is to unzip it and move the folders over to a different uh, folder location on your local drive. So what I did was I just created a folder here. And then from the zip file, I just uh, extracted out the test folder and the train folder. So when you open these two, you have two other folders under them. So when you actually go in here and look, you can see you have a bunch of images. You probably have too many images here because you don't need uh, all the images. So what I did was I took the files, I dumped everything into one folder, and from there I went in and selected photos that I wanted to use. So if you look at inside these folders here, you can see I got 200 items in this normal category in the training folder and i got 200 items in the pneumonia category so a total of 400 photos here inside the training folder the other folder the test folder i selected about 50 test images and put it into this normal folder and i selected about 50 from the pneumonia folder so that's the number of images I want to use to create my image classifier. I don't need all those 5,000 images. So I went in and went, in order to select, I, I went into this training folder and I looked at the descriptors and some of them says virus, some of them says bacteria. So I kind of highlighted a bunch of images that had a little bit of both and I just copy pasted them into this folder. So that's how I got the images onto my local drive. So the next step will be to upload them into Colab, and that's what we're going to do next. Okay, so now I'm in Colab. Uh, make sure you, in order to get to Colab, uh, if, if you are not aware, uh, you need a Google account to use Colab. You type Colab, like so, and you simply click on this link, and it will take you to Colab. But it might prompt you for your Google account. So... Now you're inside Colab, and I have a couple of other videos that, that, that talks about this in more detail. I'm not going to go through all of it in, in this video series. And then from Colab, you simply go File, and you choose a new Python 3 notebook. So that's what I did over here. So inside this blank workbook now, what I want to do is I want to connect to my Google Drive. And there is a nice little uh, Mount Drive button you can click, and it will produce some Python code and put it into this cell here. So as you can see, it creates a little Python script and it's going to mount your drive. So when you run it, it prompts you. It will be keep spinning here because it wants you to provide a token. And by clicking this link, it will take you to this page. And I'm using my Google account. And I agree to all this stuff. There's some information about you know privacy or what have you. So I allow that. And here's a token that I can copy and go back to my Colab workbook or notebook, Control-V to paste, and hit Enter. 
So now it's going to go against the Google Drive, my Google Drive, and mount the drive. So here you can see under this content folder, there's a drive folder. So inside here is my drive. And I already uploaded a bunch of stuff from the past, and you can see it here. So the next thing would be for you uh, to bring uh, uh, your photos, your images, upload them to this uh the, the, the x-ray folder, wherever you want to put your images. So I basically went in here, I right click and say new folder, and I just typed in a name for it. And that's how I created this x-ray folder. Then I right click on this folder and I say new folder. And I created one for test and I created one for training. And then under each one of those, I click again and I right click and I say new folder. Then I created one for normal and one for pneumonia. So it, it, I did the same thing for test, normal, and pneumonia. And this other stuff we'll get back to when we start working on our deep learning models. This is the result of creating those. So we'll get back to these. Um, so now when we got the folders, what you can do is you can navigate to wherever you put your photos so, for example, depending what you want to upload first, you might want to start with a test because there's less images. So if you go to test and you go to normal, there is 50 images. So the way you upload it, the way I did it, there might be a better way. Um, the way I did it was I went into the test folder. I go to this normal folder here, right click and say upload. The folder where you put your images. I I can go to test, I go to normal, and just select all of them and then say open, and it will it will start uploading all those images to your drive. And that's you what you do with all the folders. So for your test normal, you have a test pneumonia, for your train normal, and your train pneumonia. And once you're done, you'll see all the images like this. And that's how you upload the images to your CoLab or your Google Drive, I should say.